da da. That's it for the weather. Back to you. Thanks, Floyd, but I'm afraid that I can't have all the spotlight this time. Remember, we're interviewing one special guy, and it's none other than Floyd Bucker, the president of Metropomachus. Back to you, Floyd. Ah, oh, yes, I was waiting for that. Uh, by the way, newsflash for tourists, my name's not Floyd, it's Troy. Really? Yeah, uh, people nicknamed me Floyd because I was the really daring adventurous guy who got straight A's in geography class and could eat a lot of macaroni in one hour. Uh, I mean, seriously, you should watch my video of me eating seven boxes in one in 45 minutes. It, it has 45 million views. But, uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Of course, um, we all know how, a, okay, we all remember our childhoods as, uh, uh, okay, adults, this is a message for adults, we all remember our childhoods back in the 80s when big long hair and rock and roll and electronic music was popular, right? I mean, you do, I, you sure remember that too? to demand you know why because we because when we first met we went to a Bon Jovi concert together dude gotta remember that man yep <laughs> yeah um, but of course this is a uh, here uh, be right back thank you for that short bake and now we're back with mr. B president of course that's how much of Marcus is they're very passionate about their hair and they're very passionate about their 80s music so whatever you do Grow your hair out before you go! Now, I've got a question. Uh, what if a tourist comes along in the winter and decides to wear five coats? Okay, well first, before we get to that, let me just say why we have to grow your hair out. First thing, of course, the first time comers, they're excused because they don't need, they don't know how passionate they are. But the second time, they freaking knew, and Metropolitans get pretty freaking offended. Because they're very passionate about it. But, of course, back to the cold. And, of course, if they did wear five coats, um, you seem very, uh, dude, you seem very unfocused. It's okay. Um, of course, if they wore five coats in the wintertime, you'd stand out like a tourist. You know why? Because whatever you do, don't put on a coat if you're visiting in the wintertime. You know why? Because they've already got body spray that the metropolis use to produce their body heat, so they they won't have, so they won't be cold, and they won't have to wear, wear coats. Because as you know, metropolis love to look good, which is probably why they always have that face wash that gets rid of your acne automatically. I mean, it hurts really bad at first, but it, it does feel good after it's gone. But of course, if they come, if you come to Metropolis Marcus in the winter time five coats on you're gonna stand out like an ignorant tourist no one wants to stand out like a tourist I've got another quite well I've got another question uh, -huh. uh what other what other things are not allowed in Metropomachus okay what are, okay every single we all know that every single decade of music has some crappy music in it there's no there's no decade with all bad music and there's no decade with all good music of course because I mean, I remember back in the 80s when we when we first met we at that Bon Jovi concert. Yep. Heaven on a prayer. But, of course, and I hope, but of course, eight, there are some 80s music that was pretty annoying. Like the song, Let's Get Physical. And that was the best selling song in 1984. Yeah. Whoever made that, you suck. Uh, actually, no you don't. Um, but if you do, don't talk crap about 80s music. These people are so passionate about it, like if, if the insults are bad enough, they'll get into fist fights and crowds of 1,000 people will circle it. It's that bad. So, don't, so whatever you do, don't insult 80s music. Huh. I never knew it, that people would get into riots about 80s music, but you heard it here first, folks. I... <laughs> yeah, don't do that. But of course, even the Metropolis themselves know that there's some crappy 80s music. Don't ask a Metropa Machin if they like the song Let's Get Physical. You're gonna get some snorty eyes. Uh -huh. You're probably gonna ignore it pretty good too. Almost every Metropa Machin hates that song. Let's get physical. Physical. So, what other bad things are there? Oh, yes. Of course, there's, of course, let me tell you this. There's a lot of teenagers right now struggling to go to college or 
kids in general trying to get good education in school, but of course they're struggling since most of the, the school systems are really crappy. Well, if you want to school, if you want a good education, actually, I got to be right back for, for a second because it's in complicated difficulties. Sorry about that. There were some technical difficulties we had to deal with, which I forgot what was supposed to be. Oh, right. We all, there, of course, like I said, there's a lot of kids and kind of adults that are struggling to get an education because the system is so bad. Well, if you want to move to Matrafa Marcus. First off, to move there is extremely cheap and it has the best school system in the entire world. They beat Finland. They beat Finland. Beat freaking Finland, man. Uh, I've got a question. Back to me. Back to you, man. Some people say you're too immature and make fun of other people. How do you take things like this? Hmm. Oh, well, first off, we don't give a heck about other people say. And before I get to how we deal with that, first thing, whatever you do when you're over there, don't cringe when they're being immature. This is normal for them. So don't say, so don't say that, hey, that was rude when they have a loud big burp without saying excuse me. So it's normal for Metropolis to do that. But how we deal with it, we roast them. We either do that, or of course, uh, we get them in a competition and we normally beat them. Like, uh, like the US, for example. Honestly, I'm good friends with them. Because they made 80, the awesome electronic rock and roll 80s music that we are extremely passionate about. So that's why we're good friends with them. But they insulted our immaturity, and we said this Oh, really? How's your healthcare doing? I got no one to think they look <laughs> Yeah, we play that song every time we roast someone. Huh? And yes, I know them, all of Metropolis hate rap, but we're never gonna for, we're never gonna not play that song when we roast another country. <laughs> but of course, there are some bad parts. There are some very bad parts of Metropolis. Back to you. Before I ask you what other bad things are about about Metropolis, I hear that they have extraordinary aid disease there. Uh, why would anyone want to go there if there's so much AIDS there? Well, first off, of course, we have our big tourism. Because, first thing, I'll, I'll explain why later, but after this, whatever you do, don't ignore disease signs. As you know, we have the highest amount of rates for AIDS. But the reason why, normally, the AIDS stuff, that usually cures, it usually cures very quickly. Normally very quickly, which... I know it's funny because we have the Christ time for AIDS and stuff, but the reason why it's still that bad is because it comes back so freaking quick. It's, it comes back really freaking quick, so we haven't had a, pure, a permanent cure yet, but it is coming. We do have like temporary cures though, but it always comes back, so we're working on that, but Pete, that's, but that's why we still have the highest rank for AIDS. But that's why people, people still come here, because it cures very easily, but it always comes back. Okay, so how, how do you deal with this? How, how do you prevent things like this? Prevent what? what? Well, you told us earlier that you were going to tell us how, to, how you cope with it. How I cope? Oh, yeah. How I deal with, the, um, how I deal with AIDS or how I deal with the insults? The, how about people? How do you, how do you deal with with the people who don't want to come here because of the AIDS? Well, clearly they don't watch the news because we have a temporary cure for it. Because they, they, I don't know, man. They don't really, I don't know. Because we usually don't, we usually don't deal with them because if they don't want to come here, they can deal with it. Besides, it depends, it depends on what country they're from hmm. as well. Because a lot of countries have different things to say about this. But of course, um, we usually don't get insults very often from AIDS. But when we do, we really don't give a heck. We just shove it off and say, hey, at least we're not this. Okay. That's great, Floyd. But, or Mr. Mr. President. Uh, there's just one thing I'm not so sure. You were about to explain what else was wrong with the Tropomachus and how you felt with it. Of course, 
of course, there are some bad things about Metropolis because there's bad things about every country. And there's something good about every country. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I was about to say except for North Korea, but okay. Uh, but one more thing. If you see the slightest thing suspicious in a store, report it. Metropolis has the highest rank for robberies in the entire world. That's why not only that's why guards have to stay in the day as well. They usually learn to be very sneaky, observant, and rarely good at hearing. Interesting. Is that all you have for us today? Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, tell us more. All right then. Uh. Uh. Yes, we have one more thing. What if you do? Don't take. When they make jokes about people, including yourself, or themselves, or their friends, or celebrities, or anybody in politics, or anybody at all, don't take it offensive. This is actually very normal for Metropomachans. Sometimes, when families make jokes about other members of their family, they'll make jokes about themselves right after that. It's that normal. In fact, there's this one YouTuber that got... There's this one two YouTuber that made a video that got over 87 million views because he made an awesome joke about his mom. I even watch it all the time. It's hilarious. It went like this. I'm re I'm really glad it's almost summer. Wait, wait, no. I'm really glad it's almost summer, but I have to spend it with my mother. So it's a really big bump. I mean, and it's it's that normal. But that's all we have. That's all we have for what not to do there. Back to you. And guys, that's all we have time for today. And thank you for the interview, Mr. Bucker, President Bucker. Sorry. <laughs> And With pleasure. See you next time on CNN 4 News.